you know, low single digit percentage penetrated into what we think is just an enormous market. There's 10 million daily active users, but there's a couple hundred million people whose working lives are mediated by email and they would all be better off with Slack or something like it. One of the hopes for a company like us is that there's not too much volatility. Um, and we are hoping that this model where there's many sellers, many buyers, supply and demand, uh, we reach a market clearing price a lot earlier. We see a, a big opportunity for messaging to, to turn viral in the enterprise sector, a bit as what we've seen in consumer where you know, everybody is using um, applications like, uh, like WhatsApp. So in terms of the user base, uh, if you look at uh, Slack, they've already over the last sort of five years grown to, uh, to 10 million users. And we expect that to, to basically grow to, to 15 million users by 2025. And that would just be a fraction of the market. We see also a big opportunity in terms of uh, in terms of monetization. If you compare to other IPO like like Uber, for instance, that have been burning a lot of cash. Uh, if you look at Slack, they actually been uh, the, the in terms of um, the cash burn has been relatively limited, about 100 million uh, US dollars per year, which is also the current guidance for this year. And that's despite growing extremely fast and growing to a 10 million 10 million user base. And that's really thanks to their uh, freemium uh, business model, uh, which has been very effective in terms of uh, penetrating the, the the market. My you know. Due diligence when talking to Slack customers is really positive. Uh, you know, as as I think uh, just mentioned, it's it's a very cultish product. People who who use it really like using it, and and once they start um, becoming active Slack users, they they become I think really dependent on it. And I've even heard cases of people who say, "I won't work for a company that doesn't have Slack." Uh, but you know, I look at uh, at the valuation right now that Slack's coming public at, and and it's it's up there with the, probably the most expensive names in, in software like an Okta or MongoDB. And and I just think I, I'd want either a more attractive entry point, or I'd want to see evidence that Slack can gain traction. In, in other industries outside of tech or tech forward companies. At 26, the so-called uh, reference point, it sells at 34 times this year's sales, uh, 22 times next year's. The only one that's higher than that of the companies that come public lately is uh, is Okta, which is a cybersecurity company. Uh, if it gets if it goes to uh, 30, which a lot of people feel is no problem, then it sells at 39 times sales. That's going to be uh, other than Zoom. Yeah. The highest, or, or, well, crowd strikes too, and I think you go to 35, and there be 45 times sales. So only uh, Zoom's got more so mojo. It, it is a very high multiple to sales, yes. but they are. But it's growing still. well.